The average blog post takes 4 hours to write and yet 67% of all blog posts receive less than 10 views. This is highly suboptimal. Now AI is here to help us and in this video I'm going to show you how you can optimize your SEO blog post creation process with a couple of simple steps. My name is Ilya and I'm co-founder and CEO of Team GPT. Let's jump straight into it. The, the topic I want to write about is AI agents. It's, you know, good search volume and still not too difficult, but I'm not sure how to even start. Now, the, the most, I know the topic AI agents, and now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me with the titles. So I'll go with, I'm writing about AI agents. Give me 10 good articles for uh, um, article names. I'm not sure how I want to call it, but the article name is the most important thing because it, it, it basically talks about, are you going to talk about the concept? Is it going to be about why agents are important? Is it going to be about how to build agents article? Is it going to be top 10 AI agents? This is kind of one of the most important things when it comes to um, you know, writing a blog article. Now, once I've decided this, and let's say I'm gonna go for the first one, how are AI agents transforming business operations in 2025? I will take it. And then the next thing I wanna do here um, is to um, use a prompt that I'm using often. It's my SEO blog post brief. And uh, I input the topic, AI agents. Then I put in the title, I copy pasted the one that the AI suggested. And then I want to put some uh, keywords. The primary keyword is apparently AI agent. And I want to put some secondary keywords. This is optional, but I'll go here and I'll check out a couple of, of them. How to build AI agents, how to create AI agents, maybe how to create AI agents. Maybe I also put AI agents examples and I'll stop here. But you know, you do your proper keyword research and, and then you input it. Now, what this would create is a prompt which outlines the topic, the title, primary keywords, secondary keywords. I send it over and as you can see, I'm already building this, you know, the AI is doing it actually. It's creating this brief. You can see our title, the primary keyword, the introduction, the key points, the semantic keywords, you know, I didn't give it these keywords. It knew that uh, they're good ones. There's also an NLP optimized example paragraph. And then it starts with heading, key points, more keywords, NLP optimized paragraph, resources, and so on and, and so forth. Now, why did this work so well? Um, it is because I have been using my um, knowledge in SEO and my experience to um, kind of train this project, this uh, AI assistant, to, to, to help me build better briefs. And if I go here in the project knowledge, you would see that I have specified some rules, how it should behave, but more importantly, I have provided some example outputs. So I have provided what, how I, I think a brief should look like. And since it's using my own examples for, for these briefs, it works very well. Now, let's say I wanna do another one, but I want the brief to look in a different way. And I'll go back to one other company that I, I was uh, building um, in the past, and I will just take one of the content briefs which were uh, there. And I will, I'll take the content brief here. I will input it as an example output in my uh, SEO uh, blog post brief, okay, and then I'll prompt it in the same way, but now with uh, the new example outputs that that we have provided. And uh, I'm not sure what's gonna go uh, come out of it, but I know it's gonna be different, right? So in this case, it's it's giving the introduction, it's giving the H twos again because our guidelines are such. So our guidelines are. Uh, you should put H2 titles, H3 titles. These are generally stuff that work, including introduction and conclusion, article should be around uh, 3000 words and so on. Now, the structure of the text itself would look very, very similar to whatever I provided as an example output. In this way, you can personalize this AI project 
to your briefs and to the way you write articles. This has been by far the best optimization technique for our um, SEO efforts. So we create the briefs much faster, we know what we're gonna talk about, and from then on, we can use the AI or we may write it ourselves, doesn't matter, but, but the brief is consistent with the way we create SEO, um, SEO content in our company. So, um, Thanks for watching and um, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you.